Today we're gonna to go over how I'm planting back all this turmeric I planted as an experiment in all these containers to get more turmeric for this coming season. I think it could have been better. We'll talk about why. And whoa, isn't that a little close to the surface to put turmeric in to plant? Am I gonna plant all that back in on top of collard? Well, stay tuned and you'll see what I'm gonna do. And then you can decide what you're gonna do too. A scissors, what is she cutting up? What does it look like I'm cutting up? Cool, pretty good. And it tastes so good too. So I'm going to harvest all this. See what's in there, replant. I'm gonna dump it in there and separate it. It's just me way out here. So I don't have a stand or anything. I'm gonna take all this, this will all be cut up and put back in. I just wanna get all the turmeric out of here. And see, I haven't looked at any of these. Let's see if I can tip. Cause it's gonna to be too hard to tip one handed on all of them, but you'll get the idea. Now, remember there was no soil in these. So I don't know how, yeah, I can't get this. I'm gonna to have to do it first. So here it is, not too bad. They're kind of small compared to what I usually get out of there. I'm spreading this out to try to see if there's any more. They were small pieces to start with. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these and see what's in there. I'm gonna plant them back, but I'm wondering if it's too shady here because they don't get a lot of sun. So here's the issue. I mean, it's doing well, but see some of these? They rot it. See, this is mushy because I left it in too long and it's too wet. So I'm still debating if I, I haven't even emptied these yet. And I've got a container full here. But the point is, it's not getting enough sun. I think it can use a whole lot more sun, but it does, and then in the heat, it doesn't. I could move them because they're all portable. They're just some buckets. And I can move them out into the sun. And then when it gets too hot, move them back because I have so many. So I'll have to see what I plan on doing. And I'll just keep going and see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plant them this time back with some leaves and see how it goes. I'll wash them off when I'm done. Well, this one's packed. I don't know if I can put my glove on at the same time. Hold on, I can't, I have no place to put it. Hold on. Okay, so this bucket I just dumped is absolutely packed. They're all different. And it was set up in the shade. So we're gonna see, look at this. This is all out of one container I just dumped. So I'm gonna rinse it because it's full of earthworms. And of course we put the water back in a tote. This is a good, good harvest out of this. Look at this, how much in one container. I'm going to give it more leaves this time and this time green leaves and everything because I only planted it last time in straight leaves from the pepper tree. So now we're gonna do this differently and give it more nutrition. See this one rotted, but it could have been the mother plant. See it rotted and just leave that. This is good, it's solid. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, that's a good piece. And there's probably more, here's another piece, all out of one. I'm gonna really feed the Dickens out of it this time. And this time, because it was an experiment, I'm going to not just put in branches and leaves, I'm gonna put in green matter as well. We'll see how it does. And the soil, it's very much alive. You just flick it and you see there's life in there everywhere another one I've seen them everywhere so definitely the leaves will help and then as it warms up I'm gonna put it in the shade and I might move them around a bit and I'm still got more to go so I still have four more over there to go and that container is full and I'll plant some back and take some in to eat If I lose any in the in the truck bed, it will grow. So, did I do good? I think I could have done better. All in all, actually, all in all, it's pretty good. Now, the conclusion is, I'm going to go ahead and plant it right back since our weather is now 50 degrees at night. If it rains too much, I might cover them with plastic for the night. 
Remember, these things don't grow. That's just what they're storing. And I'd rather see them have more of their tubers than those, but that's okay. This is beautiful. So I'm gonna plant it back, but I'm not gonna do it the way I did it last year, which was all leaves and wood chips. I'm going to mix in some greens. Look at the trunk on this thing. It's a fig leaf gourd. I'm gonna mix in some greens and then I'm gonna keep some. Oh, hold on. Trying to do this all one-handed. Doesn't really work. Oh my gosh, it is so good. And so healthy for you. Okay, let's turn the water off. So I'm gonna get some planted. Some of these rotted, see? They started to rot. They should have been harvested two months ago, three months ago, and I didn't. But I'm gonna get them planted now. I'm gonna mix them soil from other totes, some leaves, maybe even a little bit of Swiss chard leaves. Let the earthworms go back and eat that. Otherwise, they're trying to eat this. Now, they're not eating it when it's good. They're eating it when it goes bad. And don't worry about that. That's all they eat is what, when something is dying, that's what they get rid of, the earthworms and the microbes. So, you know, once it's cut away from the plant. So we're going to get some of these planted, and then the rest I'm going to take in and eat. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill up all the containers that are already emptied. Do not ask how I'm balancing this phone. It's unreal. And then I'm going to plant them at the end, after the containers are done. So what I'm going to do is on the bottom. See, I told you Swiss chard. I'm going to add in some Swiss chard. See? And I brought some old kitchen scraps that literally are rotting. They were sitting in the yard. I'm going to add in different leaves. And I'm going to add in, well, you know how I do this. The reason I do this is for the earthworms. You saw it's full of earthworms. You treat this the same. Don't worry about the pine needles that got in there. Start putting back soil that came out of it. Now I'm going to use, let's see, is that good? Mm, no, see, this is rotting. We'll just put that in. If it's good, it's actually going to come back. Just soil from other containers, whatever I've got. I want to see if any of this is, if it's questionable, see this is, I don't think it will, no, it's not going to grow. So we'll, we'll kind of layer this up. And you don't have to fill the toilet paper rolls. You can just drop them. In. They're going to disappear really fast. I want to get some kitchen scraps in there in a minute. Let's see. But I want to make sure the earthworms have plenty to eat. Let me see if I can get some more. This has got a lot of leaf matter and wood chips from last year. And I'm going to go ahead and still put that back because we know the earthworms are in there. I mean, this isn't going to grow. There might be pieces I accidentally throw in there that will grow, and that's okay. They'll just come up. I'm going to give it some calcium. It doesn't matter if it's moldy. It's all going to break down and disappear. Dog hair. Gary combs the dogs and throws that in there. It disappears, too. There's a rotten piece of orange. More leaves from around the garden. I can cut them if I want. If you cut them up, they break down quicker. It doesn't really matter. It really, really doesn't. But just an option if you want to cut them up to spread them to other containers. You can do that. I would go to the dollar store and pick up the scissors. The best looking scissors. And you can use that to cut leaves. Oh, this has got a lot of branches and stuff. I'm going to put the branches more on the bottom. So I'm going to save that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's, see, there's worms everywhere. That's okay. We'll mix in some other stuff coming out of totes. They're a little drier. And I'm going to leave this right now until I'm ready to plant. And I'm going to do all of them that way. All the different containers. So here is how I'm going. I've got these already pretty much getting close to planting. I love having a good scissors. I only paid a dollar for this. So look at the dollar stores for that and get a good scissors with a good handle. And if you're using it in the garden, try to get something that's orange or red so you can see it. So let me put it back there. So you saw how I filled up the first container and I did all these and I'm putting more collard leaves that I've cut up close to the surface. Though I will be topping it with a little bit more soil from 
you know, other totes that I've pulled out of. Now, why am I doing it close to the surface? Because remember, earthworms, not all of them go really that far down. They usually do, but if they don't want to, they can feed on the surface. And I am still going to put a layer of soil on the top, just a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant. Now, all this that you see on the top, this green, that's gonna be gone. It's gonna be gone in a week. The earthworms are gonna eat it. And what I will do here, and let me show you this real quick before we go on with that. This is turmeric, and this is a baby turmeric. The top will grow, this will not. This is what they stored all year. Well, it's for all winter. They were storing water and food in there. Now, if I wanted to leave it, which I could, I could just go like this and then just plant it and if it doesn't want the bulbs later, they'll just dry up and point this one up. Now, another way you can plant is, let's say this one. This one, yeah, this one is not rotten. This is good. This is all going to grow here. It doesn't matter which way I put it. If I put it upside down, it will turn around and come back. Turmeric goes all the way to the bottom of the pots. They find their way up. But what I'm going to do here, we've got growth here and here and here. I'm going to leave this one whole and we're just going to put it in like that. This is how simple it is. And now it's planted. And now I just give it a little bit of water. I don't want to overwater it because it's still been a little bit cool, but we don't want to get it, you know, too wet and we don't want it to stay waterlogged or we'll end up rotting it out like some of them did rot out due to all our weather and I didn't get to it in time. See, that's nothing so we'll throw that in there but that's it and that's how I'm going to do all of these but I did do it different than last year last year all I did was use leaves from this pepper tree and then I picked up some soil from around the ground not really soil but broken down leaves and there was a little bit of wood chips in there I think I actually would have done far better you may think it's good but I think I would have done far better and if I would have put a little bit of leaves and stuff in, which I didn't do last year. So this year, I am definitely going to put in collard leaves. This is tree collard leaves. That's green. This is purple. I also put in Swiss chard. And then I used toilet paper rolls that I stuffed. And, you know, I know it's a joke when I say stuff them with leaves and stuff. Like, let's say I'm doing this one-handed again. It sounds like a joke. And the video was for fun, and it wasn't April Fool's. This is real. When earthworms come to feed, they've got space to move around. It's going to start to break down into soil or compost right away, but they have space. They need space. You don't want soil to be just flat nothing, or it's just going to sink down and turn into a brick. They need to be able to crawl around and be able to go in and out and wiggle around. So this, though it looks like a joke, actually works really good. I can even put that there. This again, the cardboard, the way it is with the leaves in it, will be gone in a matter of a couple of weeks. And that creates food for the turmeric that I want to grow. Now the turmeric may not grow for another month or two. It depends on our weather. But in the meantime, everything's breaking down and creating wonderful compost for my turmeric. Okay, let's get all these at least, if not planted, all these pots prepared and ready to go. And, I'm at, and I am still throwing in some of the kitchen scraps I've got out here with eggs. There's even peppers in there and they could end up growing. So we'll see. Those are really hot peppers, black cobras. Okay, let's get this done. This one's got celery in it. So here's what I've done. I've gone through and put all the matter in there for it this year. This one's already planted. You saw me plant that. And these, it's probably hard to see because I didn't wash them, but they're here. Here's another one. There's another piece. If I want, I can put another one in there. There's a couple pieces in here. See? There's in here, a little piece there, there, and then here's a small hand. So they've all got pieces in there. And what I'm going to do now is just top them with some soil something loose so they can come right to the top. You don't want to overpack them in there too tight. But now it's just, let's see if I'll grab some soil. Look at all, I got this all left over from this because I tipped all these, this was empty. And then what happened was I stuffed this with leaves 
and different things. And I ended up with ex excess soil, which is fantastic. Okay, so here, I don't have any gloves, but you'll get the idea. What I'm gonna do now is just top it. Okay. Just cover them up like you're covering up a baby with a blanket. It's just going to cover them lightly. They can be close to the surface. As they grow, sometimes they push up. And I'm going to do that to all of them. And I'm just going to go through and cover each and every one up. I want it underneath. Now, if it rains, they're calling for possible rain. I, I could take the roots off. I did on some, but I'm going to leave it right now. I'm not going to bother. Some of them are darker. I don't know if they got too waterlogged. This one's got the balls. I didn't take it off. Let me put it down there like that. You can use the roots that are left. Now, if it does, as I was saying, if it does rain and if it looks like it's going to be a heavy rain, I'm going to cover it with a shower curtain from the uh, dollar store because I don't want it to get too waterlogged. And that will keep some of the water from, you know, just becoming too much for it because I'll end up they could still rot even though we're about 50 at night now I don't want to take any chances so I'm going to go finish this all up and I might give it a light sprinkle with the hose and that's it and then I'm not going to water it again it won't need any more water it's in a dormant state right now and that's the way you want it until the weather warms up and it knows when to grow this I'm going to take in I'll probably eat a lot of these but I might still plant some of the little tiny ones in a pot. Okay, it's all covered now. It looks beautiful. And now we hope that we have warm nights, stay in the 50s, and it will start to grow. You know what? See all that grass down there? This is just weeds growing, a type of wild grass. Let me go check it. And if there's no seed heads, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now I'm back. I looked this over. And it's just starting to go to seed. Just a few. I don't have to really worry about it. But you know what? If you are, just take those off. But let me show you what I'm going to do. Because you can do this too. If you've got grass clippings. Or you're growing some weeds. Or you know where you can get some. I'll show you how you can make some quick mulch that costs you nothing. Don't buy the wood bark from the stores that are colored and dyed. That's not real. It, I don't know what kind of dye they use. But... It fades anyways, and I don't want that in food that I'm going to eat. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to balance my bone. And now, let's see if I can bring this up a little bit. I don't have a tripod. I'm just going to cut it up. Sit outside, enjoy yourself. Now, if I accidentally get some of the seed heads in there, it's not the end of the world because you're going to be watching it and I'm going to be watching it. I'll just pull it out and compost it back in. But you can do this, relax, have a soda, a tea. Well, I shouldn't say soda. It's bad for you. I just have a soda. I'm not perfect. And you cut it up really fine. And this is going to make a really good mulch. It costs you nothing. And I know it's not treated with any herbicides because it's coming off of my hillside. And this is what the rabbits, well, I guess the rabbits don't eat it because it's still there, but the deer come in and graze, and I know that this is good stuff. And this, again, is a 99-cent store scissors. This was actually no more than a dollar. I got it at a dollar store for a dollar. So if you go to Dollar Tree, there'll be a little bit more, but okay, so it costs another quarter. And I looked, they had different types. And this is really nice for a dollar. And I like something that my hand will go in. See how big it is? Something that's comfortable. Because you can get them where they're real tiny. And then you're really kind of holding it and fighting with it. So look for something that's comfortable for you. And look, however long it lasts. I've never had one of these break. I just buy more so I have them all over. As I always say, we don't have to buy garden tools. We can get other things that work. Spoons, forks, and yes, even a nice pair of scissors. Well, look at this. You watch me make it. How beautiful that is. It's alive. It smells good. Just spread it on the top a little bit. 
protect the soil. I don't always do that. You probably notice that sometimes I don't bother, but truthfully, when you think about it, Mother Nature does. She does protect her soil. She does cover it with something because when the trees are dropping leaves, see all the leaves under the trees? It does protect the soil. That's what it's all about. You don't have to put a lot. Look at this. It didn't cost me anything. And on top of that, as the season goes on, it's going to break down. It's going to act as a fertilizer because that's what the whole idea is. It's protecting the soil, but it's also feeding the plants. I'll make a little bit more, but you got the idea. Isn't that cool? So there it is. It's all ready. Isn't this gorgeous? I can't wait till it starts to grow. And I'm going to take that in to eat it and maybe plant a few more. And then I've got all this wonderful soil alive because I had put so many leaves in there. It's still full of earthworms. And I'm going to bring it there in the next couple days. I have to keep this damp though. If it dries out, the worms will leave. They'll crawl out of there. So I'm going to make sure there's some grass clippings and stuff in there. Maybe a leaf or two covered so they know the worms that there's some food coming. And then I'm going to do my chair garden next. So with that, I hope I've given you some tips and tricks on planting. It doesn't matter anything and where you can get some mulch for free and how to plant turmeric. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Oh, I can't wait. These are beautiful.